Attention on deck. Major Warts and all here. This is the last in a three-part series highlighting what I intend to accomplish as I work toward dying happy, healthy, and fulfilled. Over the next 10 months, I'll try to put together all that it takes in order to use the ketogenic lifestyle to help me both physically and mentally as I move forward. Here is the disclaimer. As you can see, I am not certified in any medical or psychological practice. What you see is what you get, warts and all. Now, the way to start any good program is to start with a good physical evaluation. And that's exactly what I did on 1 January. I sat down with my primary care physician and we covered everything that I hope to accomplish using the keto lifestyle change. We talked about medications that I was on and those that I had hoped to be taken off of over a period of time. And I'm happy to say, with small exceptions, all those key prescription items I was on, I am no longer taking. Here are the vitals. As you can see in this side-by-side -side comparison, my weight has dropped. Oh yes, that was really a good thing and it continues to be. BP has gone down a bit. It's not exactly where I want it to be, but it's an improvement. Speaking about improvements, there's a two inch drop in my waistline. I've found trousers and shorts I haven't been able to wear for three or four years. I might as well take those 42s right down to Goodwill. And in that last category, shirt collar size, I've dropped from a very tight 17 inch neck and a tight fitting XL cut to a much more comfortable 16 inch neck and I'm now wearing regular cut shorts. Now in order to go forward, I want you to consider joining me as a subscriber as you follow along and become part of my team. Join with me. We're going to get better help. We're going to have new adventures and the plan is a brighter future. Now I'm sure you want to meet my first recruit. This is Raider. Raider is an Australian cattle dog beagle mix. And as with all my other animals, Raider is a rescue. He's the only survivor of a litter of nine. One of the things he and I both enjoy is boating. And as you can see, he's wearing his personal flotation device. It's important that you and I and Raider wears his PFD anytime he's on or near the water because you never know what can happen. I know one thing that can happen is in the parlor when it's a bit chilly, Raider can be found stretched out in front of the wood burning stove. He really enjoys that. And I know you might find this odd, but he enjoys going to the vet. It's kind of like going to the spa where you get healthier as you go along. He had several shots and never wimped out at all. And then of course, since he's my medical alert dog, he travels with me everywhere all kinds of exciting places 
where he meets new doggy friends and some pretty interested people. In fact, some of these people are so interested that they try to steal him from me, but I'm not going to let that happen. Now, if the last two months and what I've been bringing to you has piqued your interest, please join my team and subscribe. Also hit that little bell right next to it. And give me a good thumbs up so I know that all in all, I've got my friends out there working with me. This is Major Wartsenall, out.